Let us turn our hearts and our minds to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Open our ears, Creator God, to your voice speaking through all of creation, to the singing here in the sanctuary, the sweet scent of spring, the waving branches of the trees animated by the wind which provides shelter and rest for the birds of the air. The blooming flowers and longer days give witness to the breaking of a new day, the breaking in of your reign over all things. Yet the beauty of these things are often drowned out by other noise loud and painful to our ears. This morning we hear the echoes of shots fired ringing in our ears, the chaos and calamity of violence that claim the loss once again of lives fearfully and wonderfully made by you. We hear also across the years the ringing of hammers nailing Jesus to the cross. And with this awful sound, we know that you have entered into the darkness of this world. You have not abandoned us, but are with us. Emmanuel. Light of the world, give us eyes to see some glimmer of you. Shine on our public leaders and public servants now who walk with those who weep, who seek to lead us through and out of this fog of trauma and grief. Grant them wisdom. Grant them courage for the living of these days. May your comforting presence be known to the grief-stricken families who've lost loved ones. We pray for all those grieving near and far, including in our own community of faith. We pray for the friends and family of our sister in Christ, Joanne Dietz. Lord, may your peace break through our fog of heartache and loss, just as it did on that Easter morning where death was defeated in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the firstborn of the new creation. And in this season of Easter, as we see new life taking root in the transition from winter to spring, make us to be the first fruits of this new creation, bearing the fruit of the Spirit even here, even now, in the midst of the weeds of chaos and callousness. Plant us in our work as mustard seeds, where even the smallest of seeds, when it is grown, is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. Plant your people. Make us to grow together in your love so that we might be a place of refuge and redemption for all. Establish the work of our hands and animate us with your spirit as we seek to serve you in this way. Raise our voices to sing your praise above the world's dissonance that your song may be heard near and far. And we sing together now the words found on your screen or printed in the bulletin. Let us build a house. pray all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our crucified and risen Lord, 
who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.